COVID-19 matters. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong addressed the nation yesterday about COVID-19. Firstly, should community cases continue to decrease, then current measures could be eased by 13 June, though it would not be possible to return to the Phase 3 reopening immediately. Secondly, in coming months, with more of Singapore's population expected to be vaccinated, overseas travelling for Singaporeans would be permitted but with a risk-based approach. This means that Singapore would only allow leisure travel to other countries if full vaccination was achieved here and also if those countries have low COVID-19 cases. On the flip side, travellers arriving from countries with low COVID-19 cases, including Singaporeans, would not uh, uh, require quarantine. And conversely, travellers arriving from countries with high COVID-19 cases, including Singaporeans, would require quarantine. PM Lee also put forward the idea that Singaporeans may have to get used to COVID-19. With COVID-19 expected to become an endemic disease, we must accept that it may never be uh, eliminated and will continue to pop up in the community from time to time like flu or dengue. Hence, we should be ready to accept mass testing and contact tracing to become just another part and parcel of everyday life. Though, at some distant point in the future, assuming full vaccination and and no new vaccine-resistant variants appearing, it might even be possible not to not wear masks anymore. Additionally, from now on, if a household has a member who is under quarantine, then the whole household will be placed under quarantine. DIY COVID-19 test kits will soon be available in pharmacies here as well, making it more convenient to do tests and further reduce the spread of the disease. The Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine was found to be just as safe for teenagers as it was for adults. The Ministry of Health, MOH, has also approved the use of COVID-19 vaccines for pregnant women, cancer patients, and those with severe skin allergy disorders. Very interestingly, in a bid to increase vaccination rates, the MOH has permitted access to COVID-19 vaccines that have yet to be approved in Singapore via the Special Access Route, SAR. The vaccines covered under the SAR are Johnson & Johnson, Oxford AstraZeneca, and Sinopharm. Those vaccines are all approved by the World Health Organization. They will be made available through the private sector. As for Sinovac, their vaccine is, uh, if their vaccine is added to the SAR, then private healthcare institutions can draw on the MOH's stock of 200,000 doses to administer to anyone interested. However, for those who choose to take vaccines on the SAR, no subsidies will be given and they will not be eligible for Vaccine Injury Financial Assistance Program. Uh, yeah. Elderly persons above 60 years old will no longer have to register to take a jab and can walk into any vaccination centre and get the, vac the vaccine upon request.